Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Looks like someone left two loaves of bread on the counter. And would you look at that? The wheat loaf has one half left, and the rye bread has five twelfths left. I wonder which loaf has more left. Can you justify your answer? All right, we need to compare two fractions, one half and five twelfths. Just by looking at those fractions, it's hard to tell how big they are compared to each other. And that's because the denominators are different. But if we change the fractions so that they have the same denominators, well, then the pieces will all be the same. Aha, uh -huh, so let's use multiplication to change them into equivalent fractions. So, okay, looking at the denominators of 2 and 12, we notice that 12 is a multiple of 2. And that means we can multiply 2 by 6 to get to 12. So let's go ahead and multiply both the numerator and the denominator in the fraction 1 half by 6. Remember what we do to the denominator, we need to do to the numerator. Okay, 1 times 6 is 6. Okay, so now we have 6 twelfths as an equivalent fraction to 1 half. And now we can compare 6 twelfths to 5 twelfths. And since the denominators are the same, we know that both breads have been split into equal sized parts, and it's easy to see that 6 out of 12 is greater than 5 out of 12. That means the wheat bread has more left. So let's make a sandwich and move on. Now let's use what we just talked about to order fractions from least to greatest. First, we want to make sure that they all have the same denominator, right? Because it's hard to compare the fractions if the pieces are all in different sizes. So, we're looking for a number that we can change the fractions into by multiplying them. And we could change the denominators of all these fractions into 24 or even into 36. Ah, but there's an even better answer. 12. If we use the least common denominator, we can avoid large numbers and more unnecessary work for ourselves. Now the least common denominator, or LCD for short, is the smallest multiple that all of the denominators have in common. Let's list some of the multiples of the denominators. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 12, 24, 36, 48, and 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. Whew! So looking at our list of multiples, we see that all of the fractions have 12 and 24 as a common multiple. And if we continued our list, they'd also have 36 and 48 in common too. But 12 happens to be the smallest, and therefore it's our LCD. So, now our goal is to change each fraction so that the denominator is 12. We already know that we can multiply the numerator and denominator of 1 half by 6 to get to 6 twelfths, since we just did a problem with that. That's handy. Now, looking at two-thirds, mm, 3 times 4 is equal to 12. And so we need to multiply the numerator and the denominator by 4. Okay, 2 times 4 is 8. So two-thirds can also be written as 8 twelfths. Next, 3 fourths. Well, 4 times 3 is 12. We just did that. So we multiply the numerator 3 times 3. That's 9. Okay, so 3 fourths is equal to 9 twelfths. Now that all of our fractions have the same denominator, we can compare the numerators. Now let's order the numerators from least to greatest. 4, 6, 8, and 9. Now we can put the fractions in order from least to greatest. 4 twelfths, 6 twelfths, 8 twelfths, and 9 twelfths. And last step, rewrite the original fractions in order, and we get 4 twelfths, 1 half, 2 thirds, 3 fourths. Awesome work! Compare the two fractions by finding a common denominator.
Okay, for this next problem, we need to compare 5 sevenths and 6 ninths by finding a common denominator. Well, we can use what we learned about the least common denominator to help us find a common denominator and compare these two fractions. We start by listing multiples of each of the denominators. Okay, let's start with 7 and list the first 10 multiples. Okay, that'd be 7, 14, 21, 28, uh, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63, 70. And next we can list the first 10 multiples of 9. 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, uh, 54, 63, 72, 81, 90. Okay, now let's take a look. 7 and 9 only have ah, 63 in common. So the LCD is 63. Next, to multiply each fraction and change the denominators into 63. Well, 7 times 9 is 63, so we need to multiply 5 sevenths by 9 over 9. And 9 times 7 is 63, which means we need to multiply both the numerator and denominator of 6 ninths by 7. 5 times 9 is 45, so 5 sevenths is equivalent to 45 over 63. And 6 times 7 is 42, so 6 ninths is equivalent to 42 over 63. And now we can compare them. Well, 45 is greater than 42, so 5 sevenths is greater than 6 ninths. Which fraction is greater than 2 fifths? 7 tenths or 3 sevenths? All right, we got this. It's another comparing problem. Okay, which fraction is greater than two-fifths? Hmm. In order to compare the fractions, we're going to need to find a common denominator, and we already know how to do that, so let's find the multiples of the denominators, and we're going to start with five. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. Hey, look at that. One of the multiples is the same as the denominator of two-fifths. Let's change fifths to tenths by multiplying both numerator and denominator by two. And two fifths is equivalent to four tenths. And it looks like seven tenths is greater than two fifths. Now let's check three sevenths. We already have the multiples of five listed, so now we need the multiples of seven. Seven, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42. Wait, 35 is a multiple of five as well. Aha! we found our LCD of 35. Now it's time to find equivalent fractions by multiplying. Okay, the numerator and denominator of 3 sevenths will need to be multiplied by 5, while the numerator and denominator of 2 fifths will be multiplied by 7. Okay, 3 times 5 is 15, 15 over 35, 2 times 7, 14, 14 over 35. Well, 15 is greater than 14, so 3 sevenths is greater than 2 fifths. Hey, that was a trick question. Both of the fractions are greater than 2 fifths. <laughs> Good thing we checked both fractions. What? The lesson finished already? I was having so much fun comparing fractions I didn't even realize the time was flying by. What an awesome job you did comparing fractions. You were able to use symbols to compare and order fractions. And you worked with fractions that had different denominators and made equivalent fractions using the LCD, or the least common denominator, in order to compare them. Fabulous work. And I'll see you in the next video.